Hey guys, welcome. Uh, I know I haven't posted uh, a video in a while, but this uh, this is going on YouTube. Uh, it's just a little update because uh, things are going to get wild. Uh, not for my YouTube channel, uh, but it, things are going to get wild over the next uh, few uh, next day uh, next week due to Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, data miners going coming out and. You know, I'm trying to avoid all social media as possible because of these uh, sword and shield leaking. And I know many people say, oh, um, you know, like, it's just spoilers at the end of the day. People spoil, I mean, I got really spoiled about um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon and Sun and Moon. And I just want to avoid everything now i don't want people on facebook i don't want people messaging me uh about uh pokemon sword and shield uh i'm gonna try and avoid all uh what they call it whatsoever social media youtube i won't be posting until i get sword and shield so i hope you guys understand that uh it's due to because people leak leak all this stuff on YouTube, social media, and then people will start spoiling the game. I don't want that. I want to enjoy the game fresh and new. I don't want to be doing the same thing I did with uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon and X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So I hope you guys understand about that i won't be posting anything on youtube until i get the games i do apologize but i'm trying to limit myself uh on social media when sword and shield becomes the thing because if you've uh the pre look pre download i've gone live in japan australia uh north america and canada as well as parts of Europe as well and UK. So people, you can actually uh, pre-download them, which means they'll download onto your Switch, but you won't be able to play them until the 15th of November. That means that people who download their copies digitally get to play their games at 12 o'clock midnight on the 15th now that's good news uh the games will be round about uh 49.99 or we don't i don't know the games might be 49.99 i'm not sure the i'm not sure about the price just yet uh but the games are uh, uh what they call it very very Many people are still complaining. I heard rumours, um, not rumours, but I heard some people have actually cancelled their, uh, 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 what they call it, their copies in the UK. Some of, some of them have been quite stupid, really. Uh, you know, cancelling their pre-orders due to the national decks, as well as the graphics. To me, to me... I think it'd be quite difficult doing or because they're saying that this is going to be a big generation not like X and Y and Sun and Moon if you know what I mean it's gonna it's not it's bigger than any previous generation so it might be even bigger than black and white which is 156 new Pokemon if we get a total of 180 or 200 new Pokemon which is great That'll be good. Uh, but remember that if you add the 800 and so Pokemon onto Sword and Shield, it becomes quite difficult. It becomes maybe the game would have overloaded itself. And I have to agree with Junichi Masuda. If they've created a ton of new Pokemon in the game, I won't, I'm not surprised and it gives other Pokemon a chance to shine rather than adding all the uh, all the Pokemon in one decks 
that means it would take you forever to actually complete the the actual the national pokedex which is insane it would it wouldn't even take you a few days unless because the reason why national decks is because we don't have pokemon home just yet we have we probably get the pokemon home in january or february time we don't know there's no release date for this for this uh, game well it's not a game it's like an add-on which will be an app for your phone as well as the nintendo switch and i'm wondering how it will connect to pokemon bank unless they reveal a update for pokemon bank the last update for it so you can transfer your beloved uh, ev trained pokemon over to sword and shield we just don't know the reason the reason why is not many Pokemon are actually in the national decks uh, or the the actual decks is because they haven't programmed them in and with a new game coming out next year Pokemon hopefully Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes will be making their debut probably in November of next year this will also be that we will be seeing new, older Pokemon like Generation 4 and, and after when Generation 4 they might bring out the old, the other Pokemon in. Because like what they did with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, after you completed the main game you got like Zoroar and uh, other Pokemon that weren't native to uh, Univer, uh, not Univer, uh, Hoenn sorry, Hoenn. Uh, and I I have to agree with Nintendo actually making over 800 Pokemon and then adding the new Pokemon in is quite a task. I hope you guys understand that if you're cancelling your pre-orders, uh, you just, you're just wasting time. Really. Well, you're not wasting money, but it would have... Cancelling just for that is quite... I know some people might say, no, it's not. You, they can cancel if they want because uh, without the national decks, it's not a real Pokemon game or a real, or a, you know, a good thing. It is a good thing. I'm just, I'm really excited, okay, about the brand new Pokemon. It's, everybody has their own opinions at end of day and but cancelling your pre-orders just for the national decks as well as trees is kind of babyish really you're losing out on uh you're losing out on certain stuff i mean pokemon sword and shield even you've got to give them credit because this is actually the first uh main pokemon game on the switch excluding let's go pikachu and let's go eevee which is not a main game. It is a main game, but not... It's a pre... Like a, a sequel... Well, not a sequel, but like a remake game. Which was based off a of Pokemon Go kind of thing. Sword and Shield is a RPG Pokemon game. Eighth generation. And I don't agree with people... Uh, uh, but it's up to them at the end of the day. I'm not... I know I called them babyish for even, and the national decks is nothing but falling out over trees, and the graphics. I mean, have you ever seen seen the water on the trailer in the in the trailer? You know, on the trailer where you see the water and the how beautiful is that? It's better than Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee water. So the um, it's going to be so. It, next week is going to be very wild it's either going to be right so in the next few days uh it's going to get very very hectic on social media i will be i won't be recording much stuff on youtube due to pokemon sword and shield because it's going to be overloading the internet and i do i hope you guys understand that I won't be posting anything on social media. I just hope you guys understand that 
uh, I don't, I just don't want to be spoiled. A few, fr- few friends of mine is actually doing it as well. That they're avoiding all social media at once because people will be posting uh, information and leaking stuff about Pokemon. And I just want to avoid everything. Until I get the games, until I get the games and play it, then I will be back on social media. I will be back on social media on the 15th with a with a Pokemon so- either Sword or Shield gameplay. I don't know which one to play just yet or which starts to get. But uh, I hope you guys tune in on the 15th at 6.30pm. We will be doing a live stream on Sword and Shield and maybe Shiny Hunting for the first time on Sword and Shield. And I think it will be great. So join us half past six on the 15th of November 2019. Be there because it's going to be huge. Shiny Hunting on a new on a new Pokemon game will be huge. Okay, see you guys later, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will miss you, every single one of you. So I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend, because this <coughs> this will be the last video, what I'm doing now for YouTube, but not the last video overall. It's when, before, after Pokemon Sword and Shield have been internationally released, because of the kind of... Uh, when it has this thing, people will get their uh, review copies and and leak everything out of um, what they call it. Some people have already played through 90 minutes of the game anyway. So, peace. I hope you guys the best weekend ever. And I will see you on November 15th at 6.30pm. Shiny hunting on Pokemon, either Pokemon Sword or... Or Pokemon Shield. And we can actually, um, you know, enjoy ourselves. Peace.